Do me lang up shani iralocha san vanani mulweni. My name is Naledi Mfulwe and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the latest edition of the African Diaspora News Channel where we unravel the stories that shape our world and our communities. The recent arrest of diamond dealer Louis Leinbach and his wife Desi by the Hawks has sent shockwaves through the nation. Now, the couple was apparently arrested at a restaurant in Gauteng on serious um, charges, including fraud, money laundering and theft. Now, it's reported that they're actually linked to a diamond investment scam that has defrauded investors of over 4 billion rand. Now, that's not just pocket change. That's a staggering amount of money that could have supported countless of families, businesses, and community projects across our nation. Now, let's consider the implications, right? This isn't just about two individuals. It's about a broader issue of trust. How many more people have been affected by these scams? And, and, and how many dreams have been shattered because of the greed of these two? Earlier this month, Libenberg took to Facebook to proclaim his innocence as the long arm of the law seemingly closed in. Here Liebenberg frees niks. Hy frees nie eers 'n korrupte regter nie, want my God is in beheer. Ek frees niks. Maar wat het ek uitgevind en wat is my grootste teleurstelling? Almal om my in die kantoor het gefrees. Another thing that boggles my mind is the fact that how this man actually managed to steal 4 billion rand without ever being noticed. I mean, it is reported that, that this couple was apparently living large, frequently visiting popular spots and actually tipping generously. And, and, and if you ask me, that paints a picture of a lifestyle built on deceit. And let's not forget, right, the troubling allegations regarding payments to politicians, including notes from an ex-wife's diary suggesting dodgy gifts to the prominent figures like Ace Mahashule and Jacob Zuma. Now, not only is this investi interesting, right, but it's, it shows the political corruption in our country. I mean, our leaders are constantly entangled in a web of deceit and greed instead of truly serving the people. And as a South African, I feel a deep sense of frustration. I mean, we've seen too many instances where the system seems to protect the powerful white people while the average citizens struggles to get by. And I, I really hope that the Hawks follow through with this investigation and ensure that justice is actually served. And, and, and not only just for the Lechenbergs, but for all those who have been victimized by such scams. Now, as we await further developments and additional rest, I think, I think that this is a crucial moment for our nation. We must hold those in power accountable and demand transparency in all dealings, especially when it comes to our precious resources like diamonds. There are people that are issuing fake certificates to say that this is a diamond, this is how many carats it is and whatnot, but the certificate is fake. So um, it's important then to know where to get the certificates, um, what they look like, who issues them and all of that for you to not fall victim to such scams. That is just my two cents on it. What's yours? We want to hear your opinion. Uh, let's continue to engage in the comment section and keep the conversation going. And while you're at it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That's it from me. Till we meet again, it is goodbye for now.